So as we look at a pump curve, I want you to start imagining your pump curves this way. This is a zone of wasted energy. This is a zone of wasted energy. This is where my pump ought to be operating. This is my best efficiency zone on that pump curve. If I'm using the 10 inch impeller, it's from about here to here. If I'm using the six inch impeller, it's from about there to there. So as the process engineer, if I had this pump in my inventory, I would come to this point right here, and that would be 88 feet, that's 88 feet on this pump curve at 600 gallons a minute, and I would tell my operators to operate that pump at this point on the curve. Do your process engineers talk about these techniques with the operators? Do your operators know what we're doing here? If they don't know, put down the vibration meter and pick up a pump curve. Now, you don't have to monitor a pump with a, a flow meter. You can monitor the pump with the pressure gauges. This end of my best efficiency zone would be 80 feet of head, and that end would be maybe 96 or 97 feet of head. You can see it right here on the curve. And your primary point is going to be somewhere between 80 and 90, and somewhere between 575 and 600 on a flow meter. Now this is like when the sign on the highway says 70 miles an hour then the operator of the car must know what to do to make his car do 70. If there is traffic in front of him, maybe he has to do less, but that's, that's called operating the car. And he must know how to do the proper speed or approximately the proper speed and keep his car in the proper lane and avoid accidents and avoid injuring other people. And that's called driving or operating a car. And this is the way that you would operate a pump. And uh, experience indicates that most pump operators just turn on the pump and let it do what it wants to do. And then when the pump hits something, we call that maintenance. And that's what's going on. And this is why most people have hit a 25 or 28 month MTBF ceiling. And you can't break through the ceiling.